morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Monday morning. We are just coming off a very fun and very relaxing weekend. Um, definitely the sort of weekend, I mean, it's, it's ugh, to say goodbye to any weekend, but this past weekend was really, really great. Top-notch weekend. Lots of fun but also lots of downtime and just enough productivity where I didn't feel guilty about either the fun or the relaxation. 10 out of 10, great weekend, would love to repeat, but alas, it is Monday and so this was a very hard weekend to say goodbye to, but because we had so much fun and because I'm so well rested and because I was just productive enough, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for Monday. And I don't remember the last time I felt ready to jump into a Monday. It might also be the fact that, barring anything unforeseen, um, this will be our first proper week on our new schedule because everybody, well, not everybody. <laughs> Actually, the only person that's out this week is my son's um, team lead. And the only thing that she does as far as our schedule is uh, we have a weekly meeting and I'm the only one that participates in that, not my son. Um, so all of his therapists are like accounted for um, unless somebody calls out sick or something. So this is the first proper week where Monday is going to be our fullest day, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are less so like where there's only a couple things every day. And we complete the week obviously with Friday having only one therapy. So it's all downhill. This is the hardest day and it's not any harder than it's ever been because we haven't added anything to it. It's just a typical Monday. It also so happens that our typical Monday is now our most busy day. So that's pretty exciting. Like that totally works for me. Again, the fact that the weekend went the way it did makes me feel extra ready and extra prepared for our hell day as it were, because that's what Mondays are officially now. If we have to have a hell day, it's Monday. So, um, everybody's in a good mood, everybody's fed. I'm feeling rested and properly caffeinated. We're about to start therapy in about 15 minutes. So, for today, I just have a little bit of housework planned. I wanna record a recipe, mostly because I have to hurry up and cook the ingredients before they <laughs> Uh, start to look not so pretty. So I'm gonna do that today. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be, it's not a chill day by any means. There's plenty on the schedule, but there's also ample time to do everything that we need to do. And um, I'm feeling good about it. So hopefully I remember to pick up the camera. Otherwise, you guys already have an idea of what I'm up to today. Happy Monday. I'm just about to like warm up some lunch basically. Um, the recipe is not going to work out today because it turns out I'm missing an ingredient. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a PSA, just some unsolicited advice from me to you. This right here, nut pods. Almond and coconut creamer. This is also almond and coconut based. It's also creamer or it's half and half anyway. Um, they're both no sugar added, unsweetened. Like I said, they're both a coconut and almond milk base. This, this is the goat. This is the realness. I use this for my coffee, for my tea, all baking, all cooking. Anytime I need milk, this is what's up. They were out of this a couple weeks ago, so I got this instead, the Califia or Califia brand. Yuck, 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 yuck. Everything I've ever tried from this brand is super, super gritty. It has a very pronounced sweet flavor even though it is unsweetened and it should not taste like anything. This one doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like milk. It tastes just rich. Whereas this has an absolute Good. pronounced coconut flavor Good. that just ruins anything savory that you try to use it in. This is awful, 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 awful. As somebody that's been dairy free for over seven years and has tried every kind of milk that's out there, every kind of alternative milk that exists, um, Take it from me, if you can avoid this, please do. If you can find nut pods, that's that's the thing right there. That's the ticket. This, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen here. Bam, trash. 
it was spoiled. I'm not just throwing out like perfectly good stuff or anything. But then again, it was spoiled because I let it spoil because it was so icky that I couldn't bring myself to use it or anything. So again, these are lean times. It's not, we're not trying to be wasting money out here. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, don't buy the stuff because I'm just going to end up having to throw it out. So just take it from me. It's gross. Yuck. And if you like it, try nut pods. Try nut pods and get back to me and let me know what you like better because I find it hard to believe that anybody could try both and still think that the Calafia is better. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't understand. Hey there friends, happy Tuesday. Yeah, happy Tuesday. Sorry, the washing machine's going in the background so it's very, very loud. Um, I, I had a little bit of a scare last night and I'm still not sure exactly what the heck was going on but I had been playing The Sims admittedly for like two hours, but it wasn't two hours straight. Like I kept getting up to like do things with the kiddo. I made myself, um, well, I heated myself up some leftovers for dinner. So like I was, I wasn't just sitting and staring at the screen for two hours, but I was playing for about two hours. And right when I was about to stop playing because it's time for a bath, etc., cetera, um, the vision kind of went wonky I don't know if it was in my left eye or if it was just like the left side of my brain had a trouble processing what was going, I don't know. But the point is, is that a, it was almost like a, I think this is the greater than sign. It was like a C shape mixed with an arrowhead. So it was kind of craggly, um, kind of just appeared on the left side of my vision and it was moving around kind of like when you get those like eye wormies or whatever they're called. Um, but the problem is, is that it was huge and it was making everything on the left side of my head look like TV static. And that was weird enough, but the thing is that it lasted for about, I think conservatively I can say about seven minutes because it was definitely more than five minutes, but I don't think it was quite 10 minutes. But I think conservatively it's fair to say that for about seven minutes, my vision was just TV static on this whole side of my face. And that was very, very scary. And the weird thing is that I otherwise felt 100% fine. I did not have a headache and my eyes did not hurt. Um, I put some eye drops in, which were just tears, and those hurt like a mother. So I don't know what was going on there. But um, the thing is that otherwise I felt completely fine, except I couldn't see out of the whole like left side of my vision because like I still don't know if it was my left eye in particular or if it was just that I had a, a hard time processing what was happening over here but it was very scary I haven't had a recurrence um but as such I was really scared to fall asleep last night and so I didn't get to bed until like 1 30 almost two o'clock kiddo jumped into my bed at 7 30 so whatever I'm up but for whatever reason I woke up today feeling very like go-getter, very motivated, very like, ah, like I want to do stuff, you know? So um, I'm kicking my morning lists, but the day list, I guess, I've already started working on it because you guys might know I have like a morning list, a day list, an evening list, and a nighttime slash bedtime list. So, um, so far so good. Everything's going great there. Uh, we've got two therapies scheduled today. Our meeting shouldn't be going on because the last time I talked to this therapist, she told me that she was going to be on vacation this week, but she hasn't confirmed again. I mean, mind you, she's on vacation, right? So it's not like she's going to be texting me. Hey, just to remind you, we're not seeing each other today. I'm on vacation. Like you're on vacation. Enjoy, relax. Don't worry about me. But yeah, so based on the last intel I have, we just have two therapies today. So I'm going to clean the bathrooms, which is not my favorite thing, but it's got to get done. So I might as well get done today since I have extra time. And um, I want to edit Friday's video because I've already got all the footage, etc. But I do need to put it together into like a video, an easily digestible and watchable video for you guys. So I'm going to do that today as well. I have a couple things that I've got to take care of as far as like my son's insurance and stuff because there's always something. But yeah. Um, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ready, I'm feeling motivated, like I said, and I feel like there should be plenty of time to do everything. So, happy Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna grow some onions because these onions in particular are very prolific. Like every time I would snip them, 
and put them back in the fridge, I'd get them the next time and there were already little sproutlets happening. So it's like even in the fridge, devoid of water and light, they still really wanted to grow. So hopefully this is uh, successful because I could use a gardening win after these last couple weeks. Hey friends, happy Wednesday. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I just woke up with a really funky energy. Like I'm not feeling... I'm physically fine, everything's fine, but I woke up feeling not, not bad either. Just, I'm in a funk, I'm in a funk. I'm not sad, I'm not depressed, but something's off, something's wrong. Can't put my finger on it, but um, it's just affecting my everything. Like, I, I honest, I don't even know how to put it into words. What I'm feeling right now, what it's, what's going on in my head, I just know that something's not right. So um, that's a great way to get your day started, huh? It's Wednesday. We only have a couple therapies scheduled today. And the editing that I was going to do today, I actually managed to get done yesterday. So I'm going to take a look. I have like a master list of things that have to get done because of course I do. Things that are like bigger jobs, bigger projects, things that are gonna require more time or energy than I typically have in a day. I just have a list going so that if ever there's a day like today where I need to fill the time and I'm not necessarily feeling like resting or like I've got a lot of pent up energy that I need to get go get going, get out, um, I can look at that list and knock something off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I do that today. But, um. Yeah, I'm pretty much just picking up the camera to say hi because I feel like I'm supposed to, but I don't even feel like doing this. Like something's just, I have like a like a, an antsiness that it's not anxiety. It doesn't feel like anxiety because I'm very familiar with what anxiety feels like. It's not that, but it's just something. There's some sort of an energy, some sort of something that I'm trying to like decipher and I'm not quite there yet. Hopefully, hopefully everything's fine. But uh yeah, that's what's going on right now. <laughs> and um, I guess happy Wednesday. So I've been meaning to try this and I keep putting it off because I'm scared, <laughs> to be honest. But today's the day, so mostly I'm bored and I don't have anything to drink besides like just regular La Croix, so I might as well do this. La Croix, La Croix, this stuff. What do you guys call it? Honestly, I just usually call it bubbly water. I happen to have lemon today and I keep seeing this thing all over the internet on TikTok in particular where people are mixing balsamic vinegar with their bubbly water and I've seen people do it with various different flavors so I don't think the flavor of the bubbly water matters but apparently, supposedly, if you mix balsamic vinegar with bubbly water it tastes like coke. I don't believe it, but we're going to try and uh, we might end up just wasting a can of bubbly water here, but that's what's up. Um, the other thing I've noticed is that in none of these videos does anybody actually give you measurements. They just say balsamic and then they pour and then the soda, so or not the soda, the bubbly water. So I actually own a shot glass that's also a measuring glass. And so I am going to tell you exactly how much I'm using so that if it works, you can replicate it exactly yourself. So I've got, I'm just going to go ahead and do two tablespoons because that seems like an appropriate amount. Also, I really hate ice in my drinks, but every person I've seen do this has had ice in their glass. And I don't know if that might affect the flavor. So in the name of science, I'm going to go ahead and put ice in here. Okay, already yuck, because I really hate ice, but here is my one ounce slash two tablespoons of balsamic right in the glass. This is so, who thought, like, who sits around and thinks of these things? And then us idiots on the internet deciding to try it. So here's my glass of balsamic, here's my bubbly water, oh boy. Now with the ice, this isn't all going to fit in here because typically this glass will hold a whole one of these. I mean, it looks like Coke, sort of. Um, I don't think it's going to hold all of it now with the 
with the ice in there. Let's put this back. Oh, and I'm scared. <laughs> um, also, I would like to drink this with a straw because I feel like that's what makes sense, but also I'm not going to because I feel like if I put a straw in here, I'm just going to get straight balsamic. So... That does not taste like Coke, my guys. It's not bad, but it tastes like vinegar. I happen to be a fan of vinegar. I happen to enjoy vinegar very much. The bubbliness does kind of cut the tang quite a bit. So it doesn't just taste like straight vinegar, but does it taste like a Coca-Cola? Absolutely not. You are not going to fool anybody into drinking this and going, oh wow, a Coca-Cola, amazing. Thank you so much, just what I wanted. Let's try it with a straw now. That is straight vinegar, just as I suspected. Oh my gosh. Ah, bleh. Okay. <laughs> ah. Holy bejesus. Granted, I might have used too much vinegar. So that's definitely a possibility that an ounce is simply too much. I'm gonna, in an attempt to fix this a little bit, I'm gonna throw some monk fruit in here, which is my preferred sweetener. I'm just gonna do three drops. Again, all in the name of science, because I've seen multiple people do this, and not one person has mentioned ratios or measurements for anything. Let me try it without the straw, because the straw honestly was not... It, that was a mistake. Ah, cool. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. I'm so sorry. You had to give your life for science. I'm still going to drink the rest of this, but holy God. That's terrible. Um, perhaps... Once the trauma of all of this has subsided in a few days, in a week, in a month, who knows, but perhaps I might try it again with less vinegar and see how that goes. But I can tell you right now, two tablespoons of vinegar, absolutely way too much um, in order for this to be successful. If you've tried this and it actually tasted like not a nightmare, let me know, but ugh. All right, friends, it's Wednesday night, so I'm wrapping up the video. And it's a good thing I am because I completely forgot that it was Wednesday. And I also completely forgot that I have to edit, export, and upload this before I go to bed tonight if I wanted to go up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. So if you're watching this at 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday morning, then I did it. Something else I did today is realize that season three of Umbrella Academy came out today on Netflix. And I'm by episode seven of 10. So I've watched six entire hours of television today. Um, not that I had time to do that really. Uh, let's just say I re-delegated a few of my to-dos for later in the week. And it's also not to say that I won't completely finish binging the season before I go to bed tonight. There's only four hours left. Um, so I guess I'll update you guys in the next episode. I'll let you know how that goes. But it has been so good. I really, really love this show and i don't know why netflix is not hyping it up the way they hyped up stranger things um don't get me wrong i'm obsessed with stranger things but umbrella academy is just so good and so underrated by comparison so um yeah that's what i've been up to today <sighs> for tomorrow not hell day i don't know if i'll ever get used to that we have a couple things scheduled we have another thing scheduled on friday so far no plans for this weekend and i think i'm okay with that that might change, obviously, but I think I'm okay with that. So I'd love to know what you're planning for this weekend and how your week's gone. And um, is there anything that you're binge watching right now? The shows that we currently have on rotation. I don't know if I even should count Umbrella Academy on that list, because like I said, I started it today and I'm probably gonna finish it today. But we're watching the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. I think it's just called Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney+. Plus. We're watching, we were watching Daybreak, I think I mentioned it. 
couple episodes ago, but we kind of just stopped watching it. Like my husband just lost interest, so we haven't watched that anymore, but that's on Netflix. Um, and we're watching Star Trek Strange New Worlds on Paramount Plus, and I'm watching MTV uh, MTV Challenge All Stars on Paramount Plus as well. My husband's not watching that one with me. What else are we watching? Oh, and The Orville on Hulu. So, what are you guys watching right now? Um, now that you've kind of seen the sorts of shows I'm into, is there something that I'm missing out on? Let me know in the comments. And in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!